Have you ever wondered what happens when we cut down so many trees with our replacements? Why is seafood becoming smaller and why it feels like it gets hotter every day? I have the answers to all your questions. Which brings us to the topic of the day, the crisis? Forest, oceans and ecosystems. The well-being of our forests and oceans is what ensures us a healthy ecosystem. But recently, there's been a crisis. A crisis caused by us humans when we are the most affected. And a crisis which needs to end before it gets any worse. How did this crisis come about? This crisis started with the cutting down of many trees with replacement. This led to a lot of problems such as animals losing their home and more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. It was further promoted by industrialization which gave rise to more emissions of carbon dioxide. This carbon doesn't just stay put in the atmosphere, it divides itself. Half goes up to deplete the ozone while the other half absorbed by oceans. It doesn't just stop at the ozone depletion but it causes global warming. While the other half that absorbed by oceans react with water and carbonate ions in water to form bicarbonate ions which makes water acid. And the more acidic the water becomes, the more harmful it is for the organisms living in it. Now that it's clear that excess CO2 causes major problems for us in our ecosystem, how do we end this crisis? The first step is afforestation. Deforestation can be eradicated, but it should be controlled with stringent laws that state that for every one tree you cut down, come back to in its place. But it takes trees years to grow before they can be able to use carbon dioxide in their process of photosynthesis. Hereby our second solution, a phenomenon propounded by Klaus Lackner in the 19th known as the direct air capture. This comes in form of a device that takes in air and passes it through liquid solvents like sodium hydroxide or solid absorbents like amine which filter out carbon dioxide while allowing the remaining components of air to pass through. Also, industry should adopt the use of carbon capture which filters out every trace of carbon, carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide from industrial emissions before reaching the atmosphere. This crisis is a long way from over. Act now or there might be nothing left to protect later.